Here we're getting ready to replace the air suspension compressor on a Mercedes. On these cars, you'll find the air compressor on the passenger side, right behind the bumper. Right here is the front bumper. Right here you have the covers. You remove that first cover here. And uh, right here you'll have the air compressor. This is where it is on on S classes, on MLs, R class, GL, and other models that have air suspension. Uh, there's a couple of things that I would like to point out before we start. First, you have one, two, and a third bolt over here, and you'll need to remove these nuts. What I would recommend is to spray some penetrating oil, because what happens, these bolts do rust out, and if they're rusted, and you try to take out the nut, they'll just snap off and they'll break. And then you will have an issue because then you either have to replace the bracket, come up with a creative solution here to hold up the air compressor. As you can see here, there's some springs that uh, that allow the air compressor to, to move when it's working so that all the vibration doesn't go through the chassis. Pay attention to how those are set up. You have the uh, washer here, you have the spring, and you have the rubber mount on above that. Something else that I would like to point out is that you can easily test these or you can, uh, there's a relay, you find the air compressor relay and you can just basically jump that or you can come here this is the plug, not this one, this is the air release valve for the air compressor but above, above it is a 12 volt that feeds the air compressor you can feed directly 12 volts to the air compressor and if you if you don't hear that, just turn on and you know that you have a bad air suspension compressor um, uh, but if that does work, you might want to also turn on the ignition and then check for 12 volt feed with a multimeter that to, on this line that comes in here. Now, uh, another problem that's a little bit more difficult to diagnose, sometimes the air compressor might work. It might kick in and sound like it does, but the problem is that the compressor has worn out and it does not generate the required pressure. So if you had to run a test on the compressor, it's supposed to bring the pressure to a certain level within a certain uh, period of time, usually about 15 seconds. So if it doesn't bring it, the air, air medic system will throw you um, air suspension error. It's not gonna throw it all the time. You might be driving down the highway and then all of a sudden you see, you'll see an error message for the air suspension on the dashboard. But generally, like, it might seem like everything is working fine and if you just give it time, the compressor will you know, raise the car and seem to be working properly but in fact it's starting to wear out so if you do have like uh, issues like that where you just can't tell um, and where you have just random aromatic suspension this might be the problem as well but um, let's just get going with replacing it uh, what we're gonna do is disconnect this plug right here you have to press it on, on the back here Now we have the plug for the air compressor itself. This was a release valve. The plug is up here. You have to press on the tab. You can't see it on the camera, but I'll show you in a second. And pull press it. on this tab. Pull on the plug, don't pull on the wires. You're gonna ruin this connector. But you can see here. Right there. is the locking tab for that one and right here is the locking tab for this one so we have those two out of the way next we're going to disconnect this um, 12 millimeter nut can see air releasing right there so we're gonna wait a minute to allow that air to escape so that's removed uh, next I'm going to, I'm going to remove these uh, these nuts You 
right so as you can see here this is how they go we have the the washer here with this part and then the spring and it goes like so so make sure and then back, gotta be careful because these rubber pieces can come off they go back in but um just make sure that you're not putting this in the upper part or this incorrectly That's it. Okay, so we're getting ready here to install another one. So we'll reconnect that. So this line right here is what the one we just connected, that's the line that releases air if there's a need to release some pressure. So you line this up. Put all of that. And then you make sure you put the spring and this kind of dishwasher up. Couple of these uh, nuts, uh, they all stay in place. So I've got one right here, and you don't want to use any air tools on these nuts because they do break very easily. They all snap off. So, especially, I mean that when you install it. We're going to tighten up those a little bit more just for now that's enough to, to keep our air compressor up. Mm -hmm. 